Doge is testing a crucial support level. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Guys, we are closing in on almost 600 Telegram users. Congratulations to those of you guys that have joined. We are absolutely killing it. And of course, if you guys are interested in my trade setups, as well as updates on the charts, make sure to check out. Hey guys, we can trust you. Welcome back to another Doge analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in $35,000 training bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see on Doge, we are testing a very key support level here at 0.077. For those of you that have been watching my content for a very long time you guys know that our overall bearish case scenario remains to be at 0.075 as well as the 0.07 level there are a few things i want to talk about in this video number one looking at doge from yesterday you can see that we had a very nice retest on our nine exponential moving average we haven't really retested the 20 ema just yet which of course we have to be very careful about but for those of you that were in telegram you guys managed to take some insane shorting opportunities to towards the downside so congratulations to those of you that have joined looking at doge as of right now on the four hour perspective you'll notice the fact that our exponential moving averages continue pushing lower while looking for a retest on that major support level and as you guys already know nine out of ten times when we have this case scenario we have a beautiful retest on that level zooming out of the chart though you can see from previous price analysis though we have retested this level multiple times of course this range does become extremely choppy so be be very careful as you guys are trading but right now what i'm paying attention to is to see what happens once doge re-enters this area at 0.07 the reason why i mentioned that of course is looking at previous price analysis you'll notice the fact that doge has already retested that level multiple times and failed to break below it we did see a very nice breakdown formation right here but immediately after we had a strong v-shaped confirmation so this is why i'm leaning towards a more bearish case scenario because assuming doge does end up breaking this major support we are going to be looking as a massive capitulation event the reason why is you guys can see the 0.057 as well as the 0.07 level both have been retested multiple times and we have to be very careful here because of the fact you don't want to be looking to short that major support but instead you want to be patient the reason why i mentioned that of course because a lot of traders were caught out in terms of these support levels they'll enter their shorting position within this range immediately after we see a very nice short squeeze opportunity and the same traders start looking for those buy opportunities at the top and then a stronger continuation the reason why is looking at the daily time frame though you can see that we have yet to test our 9 and 20 exponential moving average and now we have retested this support level on the daily three times usually on the third test we tend to see a breakdown formation but we aren't seeing that volume come into the market of course we have to keep in mind that doge did have an insane drop opportunity from all the way up here at 0 0.09 so we are are looking for extreme oversold conditions on the four hour and the lower time frames speaking about the lower time frames though you can see that we are in a very nice consolidation zone volume is starting to die out so we are expecting a larger move set possibly later in the night for asia hours but our overall resistance level it ha remains to be at 0 0.08 from a bullish confirmation that's going to be the first area we have to break before we retest it as support but of course from a bearish area if we continue to trade below their exponential moving averages on the four hour we are going to be continuing looking for that shorting opportunity but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in 35,000 on trading bonus make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have one.